Welcome to my YouTube channel. If you like this video, please subscribe and like. Note. All disclosures are in the video description and at the end of this video. DC Vax L is an innovative personalized dendritic cell cancer vaccine showing incredible survival benefits in clinical trials. As an investor in this effort with family once affected by solid tumor cancers, I aim to convey the optimism some hold for this immunotherapy and research. In a groundbreaking 331 patient phase 3 trial for aggressive brain cancer called glioblastoma, DC Vaxel led to a median survival of 19.3 months for newly diagnosed patients. That's nearly three months longer than the rigorously designed external control group 16.5 months. There were distinct subgroups of patients in the trial that showed exceptional results. For instance, Patients with the methylated MGMT biomarker had a median ongoing survival of 30.2 months from randomization, 33.0 months from surgery, or 8.9 months longer than the median OS for the same patients in the external control arm. For patients with recurrent GBM, the median OS was an incredible 13.2 months from relapse versus 7.8 months in the external control cohort. These Phase 3 results were published in the Journal of the American Medical Association Oncology. See the link in the video description. The published data indicate a 42% relative reduction in risk of death at any point in time for patients with recurrent GBM treated with DC Vaxel at first recurrence, and this survival benefit continued over time. There is no current standard of care for recurrent glioblastoma. These results, therefore, appear to be a major advance in the treatment and survival for both newly diagnosed and recurrent glioblastoma patients. Other patient subgroups also experienced substantial improvements compared to similar patients in the external control arm. For instance, older patients, and patients with only a partial resection. Patients above 65 saw a 37% better chance of survival. Patients with only a partial resection of their brain tumor experienced a 35% improved survival rate with DC Vaxel. Impressively, given the nearly always deadly GBM, 13% of newly diagnosed patients were still alive at 5 years, compared to just 5.7% of controls. According to doctors who have direct experience with the drug in the trial, these are breakthrough results. More remarkably, some patients from earlier studies are now out well over 5, 10 and even over 20 years. For some, survival beyond 5 years has meant life without cancer recurrence. Researchers are exploring further trials and combinations to benefit more patients and understand complex aspects of the subsequent immune response that can hinder immunotherapies, referred to as an immune regulatory response. Early indications suggest significant positive results to address increasing the immune response are yet to be fully unveiled. UCLA researcher Dr. Linda Lee pioneered DC Vaxel, her latest research explores how to boost its effects. Early findings, from Dr. Lee's presentation materials, see the first graph on left, showed 50% of patients in one trial arm are still alive at 8 years when DC Vaxel was combined with an adjuvant stimulant called PolyICLC. Breaking, UCLA has a pre-publication paper submitted to Nature on the use of TLR agonists, including PolyICLC, with DC Vaxel. We shall provide an update shortly. Thanks to at Hoffman6383 on Twitter for summary on screen. We may be on the cusp of a major breakthrough against multiple solid cancer types with the DC Vax platform. So how does DC Vaxel work? It uses two key technologies. First, it leverages dendritic cells, or DCs, the key immune cell activators in the body. Second, it loads the DCs with tumor lysate, essentially all the proteins extracted from that patient's actual tumor tissue. The DCs, by their nature, find what doesn't belong. Proteomic analysis shows that the dendritic cells identify and then present potentially hundreds or even thousands of the patient's unique tumor antigens. Meanwhile, artificially derived vaccines with as many antigens as DC Vaxel would likely be unpredictable. It could take many years to understand the impact on a range of patients and tumor types. With DC Vaxel, the patient's own immune cells discover relevant and patient-specific antigens that do not belong. 
a process that the immune system has evolved to do efficiently and safely. Those antigens may differ, from patient to patient and tumor to tumor. Cancer and the human immune system are both highly complex. Highly engineered artifice may not be the best approach. Even when utilizing advanced technologies like genomic analysis and artificial intelligence, our best efforts might still fall short. Methodically careful, mRNA vaccine research, while promising, may take years to identify the best antigens for each tumor and individual, and yet still not be as broad as DC VaxL. Our current understanding may always limit such an approach. In contrast, dendritic cells in DC VaxL directly target and treat the actual antigens for that patient's tumors, no matter how many, even if they have not been identified before. It leverages the human immune system's naturally evolved efficiency. The typical problem with artificially created cancer vaccines has been that when you use limited antigens, tumors often evolve away from that vaccine. Dendritic cells offer a new hope, covering the full heterogeneity in each individual patient's cancer. DCs can create a powerful immune memory. DC VaxL is designed to activate the complete array of T cells against that patient's actual tumor targets. Why reinvent nature? The immune system's evolved sophistication identifies and delivers the optimal response. Immune monitoring confirms that DC VaxL stimulates a broad repertoire of T cell clones specific to that patient's cancer. DC VaxL can be conveniently administered via injection in a doctor's office. It has a mild safety profile, unlike toxic systemic therapies that require hospital administration. This should substantially improve the quality of life for patients and reduce the overall cost and discomfort of patient care. Some believe that such systemic treatments could also help to stop or delay metastasis. Competitors may jealously seek to undermine breakthrough treatments. This is a reality of improving treatments. Dr. Liai's pioneering research also aims to address initial and secondary resistance mechanisms that impede immune activation. Her team is studying using DC VaxL with PolyICLC to create a stronger immune response and using checkpoint inhibitors like Keytruda to address a suppressive immune response. Note, a breaking update is pending on this research. Research suggests that a multilayered interaction between cancers and the induced immune response will require a multilayered strategy. Additional drugs will likely be used to address successive immune regulatory responses. Curing cancer won't be a one-shot deal. This kind of fundamental research will enable doctors to learn to treat each patient thoughtfully to improve their survival and quality of life. More importantly, a vaccine like DC VaxL is a critical addition to the medical toolbox to decipher and crack the code of cancer and the body's response to it. This research exemplifies the immense impact of visionary scientists developing transformative new therapeutic paradigms. The success also showcases the impact of initiatives like President Biden's cancer moonshot. Regulatory reform and targeted funding accelerate innovations like DC VaxL. In conclusion, by leveraging each patient's full array of tumor antigens, DC VaxL represents an exciting personalized breakthrough technology. Informed advocates back DC VaxL's continued development and ultimate approval. They see it as crucial for advancing cancer cures, enhanced by tools addressing diverse immune regulatory responses. DC VaxL may not just open up a promising new frontier in cancer treatment but also help in battling a variety of deadly diseases. Note, DC VaxL has finished a phase 3 trial but awaits regulatory approval. A detailed application for marketing is in preparation by commercial developers and is pending any day now. More on the phase 3 results will be in this video's description. Disclosure. I have not received compensation from anyone to create this video. Though I own shares in the company behind DC VaxL, this is an opinion piece about DC VaxL. I have also lost family members to metastatic cancer and brain cancer. This video is intended to be informational only and is not medical, legal or investment advice. I am not a doctor or investment advisor. If interested in investing in such technologies, be sure to read any related company's SEC filings carefully. Microcap biotechnology companies are extremely risky and difficult to time. Thank you for watching. Please like and subscribe.